I need to shave my mustache. <laughs> Ew. Hey y'all, welcome to a new video. And if you're new, my name is Shireel. How you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to take these braids out because I had them in for a little bit. Not my alarm going off. I had them in for a little bit, um, but I have work right now and I don't want pigtails anymore. I just want to do like a straight back braid. Um, I haven't did a feed in braid in a long time, like from back here. And it's kind of difficult sometimes the way, you know, your hands be set up and stuff. But I'm honestly going to use this same hair because it's still intact and I don't feel like using any more hair. So um, this is just braiding hair. It's pre-stretched braiding hair I think it's like easy braid or something like that I love this braiding hair because it's so simple to work with it doesn't tangle that much I mean sometimes like, like at the ends it'll tangle a little bit but I've redone these braids about four times with the same hair and it's still like not tangled up or anything <laughs> um, I'm kind of rushing a little bit because my dumb self took forever to get out of my bed and I have work so I was just like let me just get ready for work and record it I only have about 45 minutes to get everything done, so <laughs> stupid me, stupid me. Um, I think this hair is 1B, either 1B or 2. It might honestly, no, honestly, no, it's 4 because my hair is a little lighter than um, this color. And I got 4 because it's, 4 is usually like a lighter brown. And my hair has like a, like a reddish tint to it because of the dye. I need to dye my hair again. All right, so I'm just using water. I'm gonna keep this middle part. And my hair is a little hard because I did put hairspray in it yesterday, so I'm just trying to get that hardness out of it. First of all, let's make this part straight because this definitely wasn't straight for a few days, but I just left it there. <laughs> all right, that's gonna have to do. I'm not gonna make this a perfect part because I will literally sit here and make this perfect. All right, so the gel I use is this Proclaim Styling Gel. It's the blue top one. I've been using this gel since I was a little kid. It never fails me. Um, I usually use the, uh, what is it called? Pro, the Pro Style one, the, the black gel. It's usually the, the extra hold or the super hold or whatever. I usually use that one, but I haven't been to the beauty supply store in a long time, honestly, in like, probably a few months <laughs> so I just and I haven't been feeling like going there I don't know why so I just been using this gel I mean this gel never fails me it's just the the black gel holds so much better I'm gonna take out some baby hairs before I put everything back well it's not really baby hairs it's more edges <laughs> I only have like little baby hairs but I, I definitely cut more to make them edges like a little bit thicker. It's not everybody's vibe, but I like them. Sometimes I have them thick, sometimes I have them thinner. I like to have the versatility. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna make this as smooth as possible. This is the type of like brush that I'm using. It's like a hard bristle brush. And then I go over it with my comb and just smooth down all the bumps that I have there. Because every time I do a slick back look, I get OCD with it and I want it to be slick. Slick, baby. Like if I was um, doing a braid and I wanted this to last a few days, I would definitely blow out my hair first and then do the braid and then like, you know, put all this stuff in it and then make sure I wrap my hair every night. Where are all my hair ties when I need them? Found one. I found one right in my purse. <laughs> I can count on my purse to find anything, honestly. I got everything in my purse. Today is not gonna be perfect. If there's bumps, there's bumps. I'm not about to sit here and go crazy with it, but it is gonna bother me. It is gonna bother me. <laughs> like there's a bump right here. Whatever, whatever, whatever. All right, so I'm just gonna... I always make sure that I comb out my hair as much as I can so there's no lumps and bumps and tangles and all that stuff while I'm trying to braid. I'll put some gel in the braid to slick it down even more. 
this is when I don't blow dry my hair. If you've blow dried it already, it should be way easier to put in the braid. Let's fix your hair for you. taking a little piece of my hair, my actual hair, and I'm just gonna wrap it around that little uh, ponytail holder, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called right now. And then I'm just gonna bobby pin that. Up. I just did that just so I can hide it, because I don't like that when it shows. I already have three strands, like six strands right here, which is gonna be put into three, if that makes sense. So two, four, six. So you only need three strands. If you want it longer, then that's when you use you know another strand to make it longer so I'm braiding like underhand if that makes sense how am I braiding this <laughs> see the way my hands sometimes they just don't okay my hands and my brain don't operate at the same time sometimes it's easier for me to do the braid this way if that makes sense okay I'm just gonna do it this way so braid like you would normally. If it's easier for you to do it the other way, do it the other way, but it's definitely easier for me to do it this way. Oh, man down. Okay. Here's one. I'm putting it underneath my hair. And then braiding. And mind you, this is not gonna be the perfect braid. And again. Try to just smooth everything out as you go if your hair is like mine and tighten it. Make sure it's nice and tight. I just had to make sure like the first braid was secured and tight. It was a little loose so I had to take it out and do it again. Okay. Go underneath. Last piece. Okay, once I got them all in, I'm take some more gel, smooth it all out, blend it in more. Ow, ow, that one hurt. <laughs> oh, this is getting a little tangled. Put it on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, I don't know how that just happened. Hold on, man. Come on. Alright, I had to start that over because <laughs> it got so tangled. I don't know what the hell happened. Okay, let's go. We, I'm like acting like I don't have to rush right now. Come on, why is everything just getting tangled? Alright, with braiding here in general, you're always going to have like the most bunched up <laughs> knots at the end. And it always, that always happens. I don't know why. It doesn't matter what braiding hair I use. Like I have to use super, super slick hair for it to not bunch up like this. And obviously if you want thicker, like a thicker braid, this is cool with me, like a thinner braid, but if you want it to like match a little bit more with your, your hair and be thicker towards the bottom, just add a, like another like two strands and it'll make it thicker. It'll make it longer, but it'll definitely make it thicker. Or add like three more strands, add six in total if you want to make it thick. It all depends on your preference. And I'm just gonna adjust it, fix it a little bit, but it's not the most perfect braid, but I'll take it. So I'm just gonna do my baby hairs right now. And then I use this like, uh, this black wrap thing from the beauty supply store. It's called Wrap It. And um, I just put that down to make sure my hair is laid and it's not gonna go anywhere. And it works so well. It's better than a 
than a silk wrap, honestly, if you're trying to lay like your edges down. Especially like when you're in a rush and you don't have that much time to have them lay for too long, like me right now. <laughs> Put them on and I'm telling you, it works. All right. Lay this. Alright, let's do my makeup. <laughs> I look bald headed as hell. Please do not mind my nails. I say this every time. <laughs> my nails are always beat up in every video. They last for like a day and then it's just, it's beat up. Alright, I always start with my mascara first. I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Um, I put a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of coats on because I don't wear falsies or anything. So I'm always putting a bunch of coats of mascara. I have long, long lashes. Um, so that's why I don't really wear falsies. I wear them here and there. Like I used to wear the, um, what is it called? Extension, last extensions. But I started like ripping out my freaking, <laughs> my lashes at night and stuff like that. I couldn't take it. So I just put a bunch of mascara on. All right, so I let that first, like, this is like my first layer of mascara. Always let that dry for a little bit. I take a random spoolie and I put, what is this? This is a edges gel from Care Care, but I can, any type of gel you want to use. And I just slick down my eyebrows. I need to do my eyebrows bad, so please do not judge if you can see. Because I end up filling these in like last pretty much. Because I don't fill them in too heavy. I just put like a little bit of brown eyeshadow. I used to use this, what is this, the Morphe, the Morphe Mocha Definer Pencil. I used to use that all the time, but I just noticed that I really didn't need to fill them in as much as I was filling them in. And I started dyeing my eyebrows again. So now... Whenever it fades, I just use this brown eyeshadow on this little palette that I've had. I have this for years. It's probably bad that I'm still using it, but it's the Sephora um, Pantone Universe palette. I don't know. I love the colors on it, so I'm never giving it away, okay? Now I'm going to put the mascara on again. That's not the last coat, but this is the last coat for now. <laughs> I do put a little bit more on towards the end just to like lift it a little bit more. But I use micellar water to clean off because I make a mess. I don't know how people don't make a mess with their mascara. It's honestly a talent. Good for y'all because it could never be me. Okay. And then I go and clean up my eyebrows because it, you know, it'll be having like the residue of the gel and stuff. So I just clean that up. Make sure my inner corners is clean. <laughs> okay. So I don't use, like I have lotion on already, but I don't use any primers or any um, foundation. All I use is mascara, I mean uh, concealer. I usually use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Mascara, but I'm currently out. This is in 420, so I have to go pick some more up. But um, Lancome sent me like a PR gift a while ago, so I've just been using theirs. It's actually really good, honestly. It's all over concealer. Um, it is in the color 460. And this matches my skin super, like, very well. Well, probably not right now. It's a little bit darker, like a tad bit off. But honestly, it, could, it still does it. Because when I put on my powder, everything blends together. And I use this pretty much like a spot treatment, depending on how much cover I want. I don't be going too crazy. There is my brush. Oh, it's right in my face. <laughs> So I use the Morphe M449 brush, Buffy brush. This is so soft. Best brush, best blush, best brush I've ever used for blending any type of concealer. Honestly, it just blends it out so smooth. I need to shave my mustache. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna ignore that. So if you can see that, I'm so sorry. Um, I bring up, down whatever concealer I have up here and I'll bring it down to like my chin and stuff. The, the real areas that I like to focus on is the middle of my forehead right here because I have a little, a little spot from an uh, acne scar that I had. I have the weirdest scars. Like, I'll have them right here, right here, or right here. And they just they stay forever. Well, not forever, but they'll stay for a long time. 
and it'll just be a random pimple that just decided to come one day randomly and then it just never left and then I put it underneath my eyes I look tired oh my god I really like to focus on my my under eyes because I do have like hereditary dark circles so I try to cover those up as much as I can and I don't like to swipe like my makeup if you see like I like to tap it on just like you would tap it on a beauty blender um, but I don't like to use beauty blenders anymore I stopped using them years ago but I recently seen a video on TikTok that it said them black spots on your beauty blender that's mold baby that is mold <laughs> so I'm like let me stick to brushes I'm just gonna wash my brushes and you know call it a day um, because that was disgusting that turned me off all the way but I already stopped using them before because I just didn't really like it so for powder I set immediately because it will start creasing um, the Lori Mercier uh, pro filter powder but this one is the one that's talc free the new one that they came out with because HBO ate them up <laughs> HBO ate everybody up on um that beauty documentary or whatever that they had that has talc pretty much in every beauty brand and they were like do your research on talc because it's cancer causing and blah, 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 blah. and I I love this is the best uh powder that I've ever used that does not crease like it'll crease a little tiny bit but it's barely there everybody's always like yo your face looks so airbrushed every time i use this it's the only powder that's never failed me so they came out with a talc free one and there's a little bit of a difference with it it's not as perfect and filtered as the um other one most likely because of the talc but i'm not like a beauty professional i don't know 100 percent about all the facts but this still works it's in medium deep um i don't like the translucent powders because it does make my my face like white a little bit um so this might look a little dark and brown to you but it's gonna it sets into my face if that makes sense <laughs> look at me acting like i know what i'm talking about about makeup i do not i am not no beauty guru and i use the same things like once i find something that works well for me i'm not sitting here and testing a bunch of things no 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 and i have a little bit of a sensitive skin when it comes to certain things so i can't just try everything I will break up randomly so whatever works for me i stick to it so i let that sit definitely have a pimple right here okay we're just gonna ignore that <laughs> so i'm going to go in with like a brown this little brown eyeshadow on here i use this all the time i barely use any other eyeshadow and i don't know how to do eyeshadow like that so i just put this all over my eye and then i drag it all the way up here and then i'll bring it down to my nose I don't know how to contour like that so do not judge me if I'm looking crazy I do whatever I want to do and I make it work somehow <laughs> I'm not a technical person like I don't cream contour and then put the contour over that and then put the blush over that and put the, I mm -mm, can't do all that I can't it just never works well for me I don't even contour no more because I just I don't know it just never works works out I just do my little nose right here sometimes you can barely see it <laughs> and it goes to the day I remember like back in 2016 when beauty gurus were like crazy popping I wanted to be a beauty guru so bad I was trying so many products but I just didn't know what I was doing like honestly in 2016 I just learned how to do my eyebrows no I didn't know that was 2014 I just learned how to uh, fill in my eyebrows before that, it was pluck central, pluck and pluck and pluck, and it was thin as hell. I did not know how to fill in no eyebrows, no nothing. And then I finally learned, and that was the first time. And then I started wearing concealer, makeup more. I used to only wear mascara and eyeliner. That was it, called it a day. And then I started wearing all that other stuff. My roommate was heavily into makeup. She was so good at it. And I was just like, girl, please help. help me. So now I'm using this OG Rose Quartz um sculpted face stick it, this one is a cream i like using cream blushes more than powder blushes because i feel like powder brushes because of all the powder i've already put on the powder just like cakes on a little bit more and i feel like with the cream it just glides on better that makes sense and i always put it on with a brush whenever it's the daytime and i only put like a little bit of concealer right here then i'll go in with like my finger and i'll just blend it up but when i have the powder on it i feel like it just applies better with a brush for me 
and this is a, a morphe brush y3 i don't even know if they still sell these i got these a long time ago okay sometimes i could get carried away with the brush with the brush why do i keep saying brush and then blush i keep mixing them up sometimes i get carried away with the blush um sometimes i do the you know i'm gonna do that today <laughs> do the little cold little look i think that's cute right? yeah i'll do that today That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. I was going to do a wing liner, but listen, we don't got time to be messing up because I will mess up. Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows a little bit. I use an angled brush and then I'll use this brown color that matches my eyebrows a little bit better. And I lightly fill it in because a little bit of this shadow goes a long way. And I just fill it in like at the sparse areas. I don't try to make it all perfect with the lines and the concealer and all that stuff. I like a little bit more of a natural eyebrow. This brow is so sparse. It's actually annoying. This has always been my annoying brow. It just never grows fully. Like this one grows a little bit like this. I'll have like a, um, a gap right here, but this one right here got gaps everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> I remember I used to try to do the Vaseline thing, try to do coconut oil, um, all that, the hair, whatever hair growing stuff, every hair growing thing that you use for your eyelashes, I use for my um, eyebrows, tried it, tried it all. I'm honestly surprised that it has this much hair. It's because I used to pluck the out of them. We was plucking central. You no, know, I remember I did it in shop when I was in I was in a trade school. I remember I started plucking my hairs in shop and I never went back. <laughs> Again, I gotta do my eyebrows so <clears throat> Oh, I'm gonna put a little bit of gold in my inner corner. I always just use a random Q tip and put it right here. Sometimes I get creative with my colors. Like in the summer, I was doing underneath here. I was doing like really cute colors and I might start doing that again, honestly, because I thought it was a vibe. And I do have these colored liners that I need to start using. Lancome sent me, I told you Lancome sent me the PR package and they put like greens and purples and stuff in there. So I'm gonna start fiddling around with that. A little pop of gold in the inner corners and then see i just i just randomly just start putting mascara on every set like <laughs> if i feel like i need a little bit more i'll just put a little bit more so i don't know what happened to my um mac pencil which is my favorite dark liner have no clue i think i just dropped it somewhere honestly it might be in my car somewhere i think i dropped it i'm gonna look for it before i try to buy a new one but them things is like 20 dollars for a pencil Whew. but like the color on that one is so much better than the color on the nyx ones and the nyx ones i get all the time i don't know but the nyx one i have right now so that's what we're gonna have to use okay uh and i lost all of my other lip glosses my favorite lip gloss that i use is, is the nyx um what is it called butter gloss and praline or something like that that's my favorite gloss because it's a perfect it's like a brown nude it's so perfect for my lips and i was set to it but don't know where it went i think i left it at work and somebody probably threw it away bitches i'm just gonna put the fenty gloss it's like a pinker color i have to chill out because if i use too much it looks crazy <laughs> i'm just gonna put the liner on because i'm going to get dressed take this off and then i'll come back with the finished look <laughs> okay i had a change real quick let's take this wrap off i have definitely have a line right here <laughs> of the makeup but whoop, just take my brush and i'll just buff it out so i use this fenty gloss this is ruby milk i got this in a trio set and this is like my least favorite one, but I still like it. It's a cute color. Sometimes if I go overboard, it's like too pink for me. <laughs> but I honestly feel like a Barbie with this, with this gloss. Like it's cute, 
but I like to mix it with the um if I use it by itself it's a little bit more pink but because I mixed it with the the liner it's a little bit more brown like it's a pinky brown but it's still cute you know I just love how glossy fancy stuff is and that's her that's it that's it <laughs> but anyways I'm finished um that was my little like you know quick simple go-to hairstyle and makeup get a little closer look i don't want to get too close because <laughs> but this is the makeup i like it i like it i like it a lot all right but anyways i'm so animated doing way too much like calm down all right but i'm about to be late as always i need to stop doing that it's just a bad habit i need to ditch because it's not cute honestly talking about it's not cute but i'm still not hurry, hutting too <laughs> i'm still not going i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see anything else please comment down below comment what you think about this video and also follow me on instagram and tiktok if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't as well and that's it that's it that's it bye i'll see you in the next video